Hey people YouTube, I'm going to teach you how to do an elf, fairy, butterfly, or Tinkerbell look. This is the elf look, but you can change it to the main color in the outer corner and into the crease. Noon color on the lips. Um, I didn't put anything on my face because I just woke up, but... <clears throat> and I'm going to be taking this off afterwards. But it's a really, really pretty thing if you're going as an elf or something. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the video. Bye! Hey people YouTube, it's me Jackie, and I'm going to do a elf... Um, fairy, butterfly, Tinkerbell look all in one. So it's easier for you guys to watch and it's easier for me to do. So let's get right into it. First thing I'm going to do, as always, I'm going to prime my eyes with eyeshadow primer potion in Sin. Let me zoom in. Doo -doo -doo. I don't know where my remote is, so I'm just going to use my hand. And that's why I'm using my hand for everything. So... And under the eyes too. And this will work for the as a perfect base because it's the perfect color. So the two colors of an elf are gold and green. Um, two colors of a butterfly are gold and orange. I'm doing the monarch butterfly and also black, so just line your eyes with black if you're doing monarch butterfly, um, or any other kind of butterfly. If you're doing any other kind of butter, uh, if you're doing a fairy, gold and pink, or gold and blue, whatever, whatever color you want. Um, so I'm going to get started with the, I'm doing the elf. So the, I'm taking my 88 um, shimmer palette, and the first color I'm going to take, I'm actually going to be mixing two colors together. I'm going to be mixing this gold and this gold together, and putting that all over the lid. So I'm just going to be using this little mirror. And then I'm going to be putting a shimmery white as a highlight. Just blending that down. So just keep putting that all over the lid until you get the desired color. I just And then personally, if I was going as a fairy, I would do purple, but uh, pink or purple. But since I'm since I'm going to do an elf today, I'm going to pick um, a green color. I'll pick. I'll actually mix these two together, the lighter one and the darker one, to make a medium. I'm going to start putting that in the outer corner. I'm just blending that into the gold. And then I'm just going to take the lighter one and start building it up. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. And flip it over and keep putting gold on so you don't lose the gold color. So it's looking really pretty. I like this. And just keep blending it. <coughs> and create kind of like a sharp line. And sorry my voice is like this. Um, 
I actually woke up about half an hour ago, and I'm just doing this now. That's why my voice might be a little kind of weird. And then if you could find, I would wear black and green falsies to kind of blend in with the elf makeup. And then just blend that into the gold so you don't have any sharp lines. Oh, you can't see me. But this is looking really, really super pretty. And then I'm going to take my angled brush, wipe off whatever color I have on there, which is black. I'm just going to wipe that off. And then I'm going to take the gold color and put it on the inner corner halfway. Like that. Halfway in. And then I'm going to take the green color, put it on the outer corner, and connect it to the gold. I didn't really create a um, sharp line here as I did here, so I'm going to fix that. And then we're kind of losing the gold a little bit, so I'm going to take some more gold and put that all over the lid so we don't lose the color. And then some white underneath, but green is the color that we're kind of main color, So, that's, but gold is kind of like the undertone. And so we're done with the eyes and they're really pretty. So if you're doing a butterfly um, monarch, I would do orange. If you're doing a regular butterfly, I would find out the color of the butterfly you're doing or the color of your costume. Do that color. Um, but gold, uh, always pair it with gold because gold is a very kind of magical color and it would look really, really good. So fairy would be pink or blue or whatever color the fairy you're doing. Um, stuff like that. But it's kind of like a greenish gold smoky eye, it's really pretty. And then I'm going to take my, um, I would take my CoverGirl Exact Eye Lights, but I'm not wearing this, I'm going to take this off and do another tutorial. So, I would wear my CoverGirl Exact Eye Lights. Um, for, and then I would, I would put on my tinted moisturizer, um, too, but again, I'm just taking this off. So, foundation, or tinted moisturizer, mascara, um, for cheeks, I would put kind of a very rosy color. I use always now. I use Sakura from the from this palette. I know it looks really hot pink, but if you blend it out, it creates a beautiful rosy color. I'll show you on the back of my hand. It creates a beautiful pinky rosy color, which would be perfect for this. And then, but for lips, I'll do lips. Um, Nars Turkish Delight Lip Gloss, just a perfect nude color because her eyes are so bright. And that's the whole tutorial. I hope you liked it. And I'll, um, oh, also very lightly redefine the eyebrows. You can make them a tinge of green. I don't need to redefine my eyebrows. <coughs> but if you do, make them like a tinge of green. So, or whatever color, whatever main color it is. And then just film in like normal. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.